Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. As always, if you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description below. Anyways, today we are viewing another one of these Bang Energies and this one is going to be on the Star Blast. So I'll get to well, what actually flame that is in a second. So I got this particular drink out of the English website Land of Munchies, which sells like, you know, American candy drinks, soda and stuff like that. Go check them out. I'll put the link to their website in the description below. So it cost me £2.99, which really isn't that bad, seeing as you can pay £2 to £2.50 for a kind of Monster or Red Bull or something out of like a service station in England. So really £2.99, seeing as it's imported, they've got to ship it and make a profit, is really not that bad. You know what? It's to try, so why not? So anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the packaging. So we have a fairly simple can design. We have most of the can be in black with this one. Now we kind of have the... Uh, what do you call it the kind of red white and boom kind of theming where the blue white and red obviously a lot of these other american energy drinks have got the kind of red white uh kind of blue theming uh, which represents a certain kind of uh you know mixture of flavors in america obviously we don't have that over here in england or europe and again we got around the top the blue uh white and red but on the front we've got the bang logo in blue looks like a turbo on the car i said the bang font which is in three different colors and then star blast at the bottom We've got the ingredients and stuff on one side, uh, effectively silver coming out from the black. And then we've got a little story and stuff which we'll read in a second as well. On the bottom, we've got nothing. And on the top, everything's all standard and silver. Sorry, everything is all nice shiny black on top with a orange, uh, nice orange pull ring. So anyways, this is the 473 milliliter cam. Uh, let's see. So looking on the side, so these are sugar free and it is indeed zero grams of sugar. So there's quite a lot of vitamins on there. I'm not going to read them all, but there's uh, lots on there. Now, as this is an American drink, their ingredients are a little bit different to what they have over here in England. So last time I checked on all the other Bang Energies I reviewed, I can't see anything about high fructose corn syrup and I can't see anything about sweeteners either. And the caffeine content in total is 300 milligrams in total and it hasn't got it per 100 mil. So anyways, reading the story. So it says, by the makers of the Lenji Redline Energy products, make no mistake, Bang is not your stereotypical high sugar, life-sucking soda, masquerading energy drink. High sugar drinks spike blood sugar, produce some metabolic mayhem, causing you to crash harder than a test dummy into a brick wall. Yes, it does say that. Power up with Bang's protein, brain and body rocking fuel, super carotene, if I said that correct, caffeine, COQ10 and EAA's essential amino acids. Life is an extreme sport and bang is the extreme energy source to live life extreme with an X. Anyway, so yeah, zero carbs, zero sugars, zero calories and zero artificial colors. So it's all good there. So basically this, I mean, it is an energy drink, but it's advertising you more kind of natural body fuel and kind of like essential aminos kind of drinks. But a lot of these other drinks which advertise being like BCAA or all these aminos and stuff, they normally taste quite nasty, but these, most of these bangs have kept the flavors quite nice. So. I'm looking forward to this one as well. But ultimately, like I said, you're comparing it to Monster or Rockstar or Red Bull. This is advertising it as body fuel. The other energy drinks aren't advertising it like that. So, you know, they're trying to look more healthy. Anyway, so yes, before we get into the drink, that's Starbucks flavor. Uh, Starbucks flavor. So like I said, it's basically along the lines of the kind of red, white and kind of boom flavor. Now, in America, that's kind of sort of cherry, sometimes a bit of lime, sometimes a bit of strawberry. Now, I have had a quick, quick look online to see what people say about this drink because, you know, it is what it is. But people are saying strawberry, so some people are saying it's a mix of, of bomb pop, which again is like peach or cherry or lime or something like that. So it really is all over the place in terms of flavour, but there is only way, there is only one way to find out. Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks, guys. So, yeah, only one way to find out. So, nevertheless, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's go straight into it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. So, I all know the colour is going to be clear at this point. All the other Bang Energies have been clear that I reviewed. They've got no artificial colours. So, if they're not clear at this point, then you should be right. But the smell and taste, well, we'll have to find out. There we go. I'm just glad that it didn't explode over me. And the colour is clear. It's going to be clear, guys. All the bags have been clear. No artificial colours. There we go. 
So quite a lot of foam on the top of this one. There's certainly a lot more foam on the top of this compared to some of the other bags. Not necessarily a bad thing, I'm just saying. It's got a bit more foam than the others, but still not too many bubbles on the side either. Now the color is clear, yes, but still there is that little kind of cloudy, just a little bit of cloudy white to it, just didn't there. It's not 100% clear. But um, yeah, for the most part, it does have no uh, no coloring. And you can see my face, hello, through the drink. So anyway, let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of. Oh, wow, that smells interesting. Yeah, it's definitely a, there's definitely quite a few flavors in there, but although I'm leaning more towards the strawberry kind of, to be honest with you. Yeah, it reminds me of like kind of the strawberry air fresheners you get. Um, yeah, kind of like that strawberry smell. Hmm. But again, more of the artificial strawberry smell, like like you get in the air fresheners, like the car air fresheners. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. But um, well, this will be interesting. Nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh, wow. There's so many flavors in there. My mind is just like, uh, to be fair, I can kind of see a little bit, just a little bit of pear in there. Certainly some bit of strawberry flavor in there as well. I'll get, I'll get into more detail in a second. There's definitely pear there in the background. Definitely was kind of strawberry there as well. Some people, some people have said, other people have said peach and stuff, but I don't see the peach. Hmm, that is interesting. Definitely really interesting. I'll try this about the can and then I'll go into detail about the drink. Oh, that's really interesting. Hmm. So straight off the bat, that is definitely an interesting mix of flavors in there. Really well done for, for getting that mix of flavors in there. So sweetness wise, well, as, he, as it hasn't got syrup in it or the high fructose corn syrup, it really doesn't seem to be that syrupy, um, you know, which is a good thing really, because uh, you know a lot of people don't like the thick, thick syrup these drinks have. Um, sugar wise, well, it hasn't got the sugar taste because of course it hasn't got sugar in it. Now it still seems to be a fairly sweet drink and it hasn't got any of the kind of I know some people say the artificial sweet drinks have some nasty chemical taste. Some do, but this one doesn't. So it hasn't got any of those nasty, nasty sugar-free uh, chemical taste or anything like that. But the drink itself, well, you've obviously got beginning, the midsection, ending, and then the aftertaste of the drink. Now, that is a really, really mix of explosions in my mouth. And as I was saying when I was drinking it, I am kind of getting a strawberry vibe along with kind of there's definitely some pear there in the background but there's definitely a lot of other stuff in that flavor but i can't pinpoint to it and that may make up the overall flavor so yes there may be you know some other flavors some people can maybe pick out a lot more than i can but as far as i'm concerned i can pretty much feel like it's a strawberry and kind of pear flavor which doesn't make sense strawberry and pear but you know that's what some other people said online but i definitely can notice that so Beginning towards the midsection of the drink, you've kind of got this, or it, or it starts off at the beginning, you kind of get this kind of pear in the background, and it's quite nice actually, and it's not like, it's not like literally drinking pure pear, uh, pear juice, because there's all the other stuff there in the background going on, so you've got this nice pear flavour, which is like a, a sweet pear flavour with, again, something else there in the background, but I really can't pinpoint it, and then after the pear flavour kind of goes to the midsection of the drink, you kind of get this strawberry-ish, almost like, almost like a strawberry kind of liquor kind of mix like a like a like the strawberries being mixed in with something and that's what it tastes like so then the strawberry mixed flavor kicks in towards the midsection of the drink and then that slowly kind of dissipates towards the ending of the aftertaste um and then in the and then in the aftertaste as well there's not really it's kind of just a, a kind of sweet flavor in the aftertaste not too much actual specific flavor in the aftertaste but yeah re really a uh, interesting drink let me try a bit more Get that pear, then that, then the strawberry flavour comes in, mm. and then kind of just goes into a bit of a just sweet aftertaste. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the drink. Hmm. Yeah, that's the pear at the beginning, then followed by the strawberry. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the drink. So, really interesting flavour. 
Star Blast. I would love to see what they actually describe it as, like on the thing, but again, you, no one really knows. Um, again, it doesn't say on the back of the can what it actually is or anything like that. But um, definitely interesting flavour. Definitely with the pear, there's not too many pear energy drinks about, so it's nice to kind of see a pearish one about. Um, but overall, that is nice. You know, it's definitely nice. And of course, depending on people's different mouths and taste buds and, you know, whether the drink is super cold or, you know, a bit warm, that can totally, you know, taste, taste or, uh, yeah, can totally change the taste of a drink. So, you know, it's like one person's view of the drink may vary from other, depending on cold, where they buy it, the weather, whether they drink it for a straw, etc. But for the most part, yeah, definitely pear and strawberry along those lines. So I do like that flavour and I would drink it again because it's nice to have a little bit of the pear in there mixed in with the strawberry, which is just something totally different. So yes, I'll give that drink a thumbs up. So as always, viewers, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check that description below. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram or Twitter. Or as I said at the beginning of the video, you can check out my Patreon. Minimum support is £1 and that will go towards new drinks, which means new videos for the channel. So as always, I will see you all later. I'm not the one